On average, only 35% of oil is recovered from the ground, leaving around two-thirds behind. With demand for energy increasing by more than 30% by 2035, the world needs to produce more oil more efficiently from existing resources. We appear to have reached a point globally when the potential for enhanced recovery from existing resources exceeds the potential from new discoveries. EOR creates opportunities for lower cost production with less environmental impact. BP is the leading international oil company in the delivery of conventional oil production using EOR. The key challenge is implementing these technologies successfully in any margin environment. BP's strategy for technology development in the EOR space is to develop technologies that are low cost, that are very widely applicable around the world and are readily deployable. Our unique expertise in water injection EOR means we're the only company in the world currently deploying a low cell EOR project. We are also exploring ways to improve efficiency of our water floods, specifically with a novel polymer technology. Polymer actually attempts to change the physical properties of the water injection. So you add polymer, you can viscosify the fluid. That actually helps prevent the water from fingering through the oil. It also slows the water down that's shooting through high permeability streaks and layers in the reservoir, acts in a more piston-like displacement and therefore improves your sweep and gets more oil out of the ground. The addition of polymer to water injection is not a new idea but it has its own inherent problems that make it difficult to deploy. Sometimes if you have to inject through a complicated injection system, you actually degrade the polymer. It goes through subsea chokes, for instance, and actually gets broken down. Polymer chains are very long molecules and inherently weak to shear forces. It's the length of the polymer chain that actually adds viscosity. So if you chop up that chain into smaller bits, you lose a lot of your viscosity. As a result, we've been collaborating with Nalco Champion on developing a reservoir-triggered polymer, which has the ability, once applied to the water, to viscosify only when it is deep within the reservoir. If you can add your polymer and it doesn't actually activate until it gets into the reservoir, then you, get, you have your cake and eat it. The long polymer chain is constrained into a ball. Within that ball, holding it together, are stimulus-responsive bonds designed to react or trigger by temperature. The region around the well bore is well swept with water, it's going to be a lot cooler. Once it reaches what we call the thermal front, deep out in the reservoir, the bonds start to trigger and the polymer can unfurl and viscosify the fluid. Together with Nalco Champion, we've developed and bench tested this new polymer technology and it has now been field trialled to prove it behaves as intended at field scale. Before we invest, in any technology, we need to demonstrate very, very clearly in a reservoir that it does what it says on the can. So what we're looking for in this trial first is how does it inject, the pressure that it's going to inject with in comparison to water, and second, do we see that triggering event and are we able to produce the polymer at the producing well with the viscosity that we expect? The field trial has been successful. The polymer was injected without being degraded with minimal impact on injectivity and subsequently activated deep within the reservoir. We were able to take a downhole sample in our production well that showed the viscosity of the polymer sample was the same as an unsheared reference sample that we had at surface. Additionally, we had the downhole gauge data in the injector and this showed that as the polymer started to trigger, downhole pressure increased. Those same gauges also gave us data during a series of pressure buildup and pressure falloff tests, and that allowed us to infer what was going on in the reservoir and to see the developing viscous polymer bank. The success of the field trial is further proof of BP's leadership position in enhanced oil recovery and our commitment to recover more of the world's oil from existing reservoirs. As far as we're concerned, if we can develop viscosity of the water in the subsurface, then we're going to get incremental oil. It actually will benefit most of our water flooded reservoirs. There's widespread candidates across our portfolio that could use this technology. 